When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. <laughs> I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it start. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Persephone? I was looking for Ekati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but... Never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Egati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Alexios about the key to the underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's collar. Why would I want him running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Alexios has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power. Ernest. You know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernest. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. You know I love Persephone like a sister, Ernest. 
If I could free her from Elysium, I would. But freeing her from corruption is the best I can do. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! Keep her! Hermes, we have to go! An intruder in my compound! I'll bring Hecate in your head! <laughs> So you were the one I couldn't trust. Hecate has told me all about your treachery, including your breaking into my sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Hecate hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes, to steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Alexios stole it from me, just like he stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. I know you were both involved in the distribution of Lethe's water, but you were the one who handed it to that woman. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. Half of Elysium knows Akati wants you out of power, Persephone. Why can't you see that? You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her! The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, all poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously. The last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the followers' symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekathi is my oldest friend in the underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Hecate has always been jealous of you. She wants your power over Elysium for herself. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Hecate's right. I have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. <sighs> We've received word those delinquents in Defkelion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. <laughs> 